As a trucking man, thanks for coming. So I just want to stress the importance of having a goal. And, and I know it seems obvious, like, dude, duh, like, why would I get into something and not have a goal that I'm working towards? But you'll be surprised, man. I come across a lot of truckers out here on the road that are like getting paid 48 cents a mile still after like five years of experience. And that's just what, you know, number one is knowing your worth, especially after you've got the experience under your belt, right? So I was talking to a couple of truck drivers over here. I'm in Central Leo, Washington right now. Well, actually, 20, uh, like 15 miles south of Central Leo, Washington, getting ready to make my delivery tomorrow morning. And we had a discussion. And you'll come across these kinds of truckers all the time. Uh, this first individual in particular that I came across who says he's been trucking for 17 years, but... And this guy was drunk, like he was pissed drunk. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you know, it's 17 years and blah, blah, blah. But then he had all this experience as, you know, laying down um, tile and all that. So that was really his 17 years of experience. He's getting paid 36 cents a mile. So he just started. Now, when I told him how much I'm making after only 14 months, they looked at me and they were like, wow, dude, that's really good. And the other guy is a retired local driver. He retired, I think he said, a year ago. So he's just, you know, sitting back, relaxing, <clears throat> doing his thing. And, uh, you know, he told me I went about everything the right way. He's like, for me to be getting 51 cents a mile after 14 months of experience, good on me and all that good stuff. So it felt good to hear that, you know, from an experienced truck driver. And, uh, so as long as you guys go into this with a goal, especially for you family men, I mean, naturally, you're going to have those goals. You know, I can only give you the direction that I have experience with, right? So as we all know, I started at night. I was only there two months. Like, why go over that road and be away from your family for that chump change? Be ambitious and go to JB Hunt. I mean, I started regional there. I, where else can you get paid 48 cents a mile for only three months of experience? And that's practically home every day. Like I said, I was home four to five nights a week, sometimes every day. And then hopped on to a local gig, you know, that was paying about $225 a day, um, you know, within my first five months of experience. When I hit that five month mark, they said, hey, we got this local opportunity that opened up and you know, there I went. But then I switched back to regional just because I liked uh, driving long distance, you know, a little longer distance, you know. Northern California is mostly where I was going once I humped, once I hopped, once I humped on <laughs> to the 99 cent account. So it, it was nice going up to Northern California, you know. It was nice uh, just, you know, going. I was still home four to five nights a week. And uh, it was pay kind of turns out to be the same now the way the 99 cent account has everything set up like it's more worth it to be local yeah for 10 hours of work they're paying pretty damn good i'm not going to say how much right now if you're interested just go check them out uh if you're in that l at los angeles area wherever else you may be at i mean jb hunt is still a great company you know night transportation still a great company for me it's just very important for anyone just not to get stuck where you're at do your research, keep looking, there's better opportunities out there. And you know, by the, t by the time I hit my one year mark, here I am making, uh, you know, 51 cents a mile. And you know, we pull, what is it, type two hazmat? So that's like an extra, I can't, I, I can't remember if it's an extra six cents a mile or extra 16, but like going to Canada, for example, and OD or oversized delivery, um, or over dimensional loads pay an extra 16 cents a mile. So that's cool. Yeah, hazmat loads I believe are an extra six cents a mile and OD and Canada is an extra 16 cents a mile on top of the 51. So, you know, that's cool. 
and then of course by the time you hit your second and third years goes up the penny which you can negotiate and guys if you find a better deal out there communicate with your company because they can get you something better and don't think that before I left any of these places that I didn't try to communicate with them because I did and they couldn't match where I was moving on to so I made my move it was the best for me and the best for my family so that's what I did another note if you're in California as a trucker it's going to be hard right I mean those taxes and everything it's not worth it why bust your ass for that now everybody feels differently about that that's just my opinion you know I'm not gonna pay more I'm not gonna bust my ass and pay more it's just ridiculous it's totally counterproductive my opinion though so you guys make sure that you're watching other channels as well not just mine you know I, I know a lot of you guys you're, you're very like responsive to my videos you email a lot and just know that my channel ain't gonna be the end-all be-all don't end up just sitting there and watching things guys get out there and fucking move make it happen for you do your research make it happen man so anyway look at that beautiful scenery isn't that nice isn't that nice huh isn't that nice that's nice mm -hmm. so anyways you guys i hope that this video helps you out and gives you um, some sense of direction so go and check out, you know, your options. Explore. Never stop researching because, I mean, when you're just starting out and you are OTR, like, it's so easy to get stuck where you're at. It's so easy and it's just so bad, <laughs> you know? So don't get stuck. Like, you've got those 10 hours off when you finish driving for the day. So take that hour or two to just do your research, all right? Don't get stuck. Do what you love doing. And that's it. A trucking man. All you truckers out there, stay safe. I'll see you on the road.